If there is one decimal place in the question, there will usually be one decimal place in the answer. So we can apply the division facts that we already know to decimals. So our first question is 5.4 divided by 6. And if we know that 54 divided by 6 is 9, we know that 5.4 divided by 6 is 0 0.9, so we have one decimal place in the answer. So pause the video and see if you can answer these two questions below. We know that 21 divided by 3 is 7, so 2.1 divided by 3 is 0 0.7. And we know that 42 divided by 7 is 6. So 4.2 divided by 7 is 0 0.6. Now, these questions look different because we're dividing a whole number. But notice for each of these questions, the dividend is smaller than the divisor. 4 is less than 8, 2 is less than 5, and 3 is less than 6. So rather than 4, 2 and 3, we can write out the same questions, but with 4.0, 2.0 and 3.0. We haven't changed the question, because writing 0 at the end of a whole number doesn't change it. But now, these questions look very similar to the questions that we've already completed, and we can solve them in the same way. 40 divided by 8 is 5, so 4 divided by 8 is 0 0.5. So now pause the video again and work out 2 divided by 5 and 3 divided by 6. 20 divided by 5 is 4, so 2 divided by 5 is 0 0.4. And 30 divided by 6 is 5. So 3 divided by 6 is 0 